speaking of uh, speaking of uh, parties and shindigs, yes, I kind of uh, teased on uh, on the social medias that uh, there'd be an announcement to be made at seven o'clock today. Yes, and and. I told nobody here what this is about. Mm-mm. Okay, because my wife asked about that, and I'm like, huh? I told her. Oh, okay, good. <laughs> no, I told I told nobody here, right? I, yeah. I didn't tell anybody what's going on here. Just, I just said, hey, I got an announcement to make at 7 o'clock today. Yeah. Um, well, I'm going to take my jacket off of this. Yeah, take let's, it off. Let's see. You're assuming the worst. I don't know what I'm assuming. I'm assuming. I know you're not a secrets guy. You hate secrets. Listen, man. <laughs> I, listen, I'm, I've been burned. I'm before. I'm I'm right there with you. I That's hate all. secrets too. <laughs> like you and I are the same when it comes to I don't like surprises. Right. This is kind of the reason why I'm doing this as a surprise to drive you crazy. Yeah. <laughs> Which I appreciate. There you go. Thank you. Hey, do you know the uh, and and for those of you maybe tuning in for the first time to the show, do you know? Do you guys know the origins of the Happy Birthday Riz? No. Like, do you know how that started? No. Yes, but you, you should, know, you should tell. Yes, it. you know, King Scott knows. Rafe, do you know the story behind why everybody says Happy Birthday? I Riz? do not. I've just kind of glommed on to the fact that it was a running gag. When so they used I to come in as a guest. I never was somebody who made a big deal out of their birthday. I always thought it was like a woman thing to do. It is like it's my week. It's my birth week. It's my birth Hell month. Yeah, half birthday. It's my Absolutely. half birthday. You know, me, 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 me. Absolutely. So my thirty-first birthday. This is back in 2000, when, when, when oh. my, I was born in 78. So whatever my birthday was back in 09, my 31st. Like, does anybody know when my actual real birthday is, by the way? August 17th. Oh, August man. August 17th. You got it. The 17th of August. You got it. Rafe? September 3rd. <laughs> <laughs> so this is when it was the Woody and Riz show, back in 09. So my birthday came and went. Didn't tell anybody. Didn't tell a person. Right. Uh, at this time, uh, Tony Patrico was was our phone screener. My partner Woody found out my birthday had came and, and went, and knew I didn't like to make a big deal out of my birthday, so to bust my balls and to be a jerk, mm. he told Tony that anybody who called in before they got on the air was to say "Happy Birthday, Riz." Love this. And the first couple times, my face would turn red, and I go, "Thanks, man." And that went on for a week, <laughs> and then it's it's now a thing. Like it just kept going. So from '09 to 2023, people still call in and say "Happy Birthday, Ray." Yeah, the, the harassment never ends, and never it's ends. so great because you hate it so much. I've learned to really embrace it now. Oh, I mean, now there's billboards put up every year that say happy birthday, Riz. Right. <laughs> <laughs> At one of the point fests, there was a plane with a banner right. trailing behind it that says happy birthday, Riz. <laughs> mm-hmm. Now it's become a thing. Fine. That's how it started. People ask. How'd that thing, how, that's, that's how the thing got started. I'm glad to know. So this year, August 17th, how old will I be turning? Does anybody know? Okay, if you were, th- hang on, math. Ma- do math it out. Okay, in, we were 31 in 2009, right? That oh. was 14 years ago. So you were going to be 45. 45. Nice. Wow, look at you. Thank you. You good at math. You did real I'm well. not, but I'm here. So since none of you jerks would throw me a party for my 45th, right. I've decided to throw myself a party. Look at you go. Ah. And everybody's invited. Oh, good. Okay. <laughs> Everybody's invited to the party. What are we doing? Is this real? Yeah, no, we're gonna have a concert. Oh, oh we tight. are. Oh, okay. We are gonna have a happy birthday wrist concert. Ooh. Party hats? Wow. There will be cake. And there will be bands. Go on. And it'll be on August 18th. Which is the, which is a Friday. Which is a Friday. We're off. We we're off. off. Guys, we could take off on Saturday. Thank God. Oh, that's such good news. Because <laughs> we're gonna Thanks, have a party. Man. Because we are going to have a party. It's a happy birthday Riz concert. Yes! August 18th at St. Louis Music Park. Okay. Should hire that photographer. They were, St. Louis Music Park was hinting at this yesterday on their socials. Yes, they were. Stay tuned, they said. Well, this is where you're supposed to tune in. Oh. Now. (laughs) To this station. To right now. So would you like to know who's going to be at the happy birthday Riz concert? Yeah. I'm sure you would. I got three, three great bands coming. 
Three. Not two. Only the best. Three. So here is who's going to be at my birthday concert, August 18th at St. Louis Music Park. Name the band. I'm just going to play a little snippet. Haven't heard from these guys in a long, long time. Yell it out if you know it. Jimmy's Jimmy Shack. Jimmy's Chicken Shack. Wow. The return of Jimmy's Chicken Shack. Everybody remember this song? Yeah. I haven't heard this in a million years. Well, you'll hear this song at my birthday party on August 18th. Uh, it's in this music park. What mood is that you wear this time? Why do you get high to change the sea or in time? You won't come back. I love that song. I forgot yeah, about that song. Good. That's awesome. Okay, so you got Jimmy's Chicken Shack. Uh, you've also got uh, this band. No. Nope. Nope. Oh, the other one. Um, Moon. This is Stabbing Westward. Stabbing Westward. Oh, dude. Wow. wow. Very cool. Yeah. Okay. Wow. I haven't seen these guys in years. Right. I haven't thought about it. I don't think guys. anyone has. That's awesome. <laughs> this is dude, this song and uh, their song, Shame. That whole record was super cool. Man. Yeah, these guys. Whenever I hear this song, it brings me back to a certain time. So we got uh, Jimmy's Chicken Shack, and we got Stabbing Westward playing my birthday party. Fun. August 18th, right, St. Louis Music Park. Got one more band. Ladies and gentlemen, your headliner. None other than... Do we know who I'm talking about yet? We, you're kind of winking at each other. We, like. we were talking about a show and like, had some ideas, and we, we said something, and then he mentioned it, and Riz goes, "Hey!" Right. He yelled at Steve. He goes, "Hey, hey stop!" He, 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 oh, no. I missed that whole part. <laughs> you know, and Steve, oh man, okay. Oh, so, yeah, so, sorry. Sorry. I was like, <laughs> "What the hell was that?" <laughs> so you're all invited to my birthday party. That's great, man. The Arch Stabbing Westward, Jimmy's Chicken Shack, St. Louis Music Park, Friday, August 18th. Uh, tickets are on sale officially next Wednesday at 10 a.m. But I'm only going to tell you about the pre-sale. Pre-sale happening Tuesday, next Tuesday. It's May 9th, 10 a.m. to 10 p.m. Use code Rizzuto to get your tickets. And by the way, next week is uh, Live Nation's concert week. So from the 10th through the 16th, you get $25 tickets to a whole bunch of shows that Live Nation, the concert promoter, is putting on. That's great. Yeah, that's awesome. So, hey, buy tickets for the pre-sale. Next Tuesday, use code Rizzuto and uh, come to my birthday bash. Should we do a petition to get you on stage and play with The Urge? Yes. I wouldn't I wouldn't ask, but I am available. Okay. <laughs> <Great>. <laughs> but I am available if Steve or any one of the band members... John, all you guys, I love you. If you yeah. need a... We'll put the feelers out there and see if you can okay. replace Jerry for a song. If, you need, <laughs> if you need another guitarist... not uh, No, I would, never say, I would never say Jerry wouldn't that play. So good. I'd say maybe if you need you know something to you know, thicken the gravy <laughs> yeah. a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> Is somebody going to do a key speech? Like, are all the female listeners going to bring their keys up? Or No? Yeah. That yeah I was so, guaranteed I mean, sheet cake. I would hope so. And I hope it's delicious. Just guaranteed shit. <laughs> Do we need somebody to pop out of a cake? Are you Whoa. offering? Yes. <laughs> I've always wanted to pop out of a cake. And I bucket tried list. To, I tried to do. I put it on the bucket put list. Put it on, put it on your bucket, bucket list. list. <laughs> it is. I tried for years to do it down the hall. Never happened. If it happens here, let's go. You know, maybe, we get, maybe we get a couple bucket list items and kind of knocked off that yeah. day. Yeah. If I could drop kick somebody. Uh, yeah, yeah trust me, it's, it's already your gift my, section of the yeah. My gears good. are already turning. <laughs> what better place? What if you just drop Dick Steve Ewing off the stage? No! And then he beat the living crap yeah. out of he, uh, yes, he's he such a gentleman. Dude is stacked.
You would hit, try to drop kick Steve, and you would just bounce off of him. <laughs> he's the nicest man in the world. Oh, what yeah, if just that, that's amazing. the turn right there? He goes, the I'm city would it. turn on you. <laughs> you want your star or not? <laughs> <laughs> you kick him off stage, and he falls onto his star. <laughs> his star impales him. <laughs> oh. oh, poor Steve. Love you, Steve. Thanks for just kidding. That's really cool. Congratulations. Yeah, that's awesome. Happy that's birthday, great, man. Riz. That's what we're doing. That's what we're doing. Have that's you, the big one. Have you ever done this before? No, this is the first This time. is excellent. I wanted to keep it a surprise. Yeah. That's really cool. Remember the, remember the couple times the boss pulled me out of the office? Yeah. And he goes, I just want to talk to you. That's this what, what this it, was about. Thank God, because all of us were like, what's going on? I know, and I hate mm. doing that, too. Actually, yeah. no. I'm <laughs> no, he doesn't. <laughs> <laughs>